LeBron James certainly has his fair share of NBA fans. I mean, who doesn't love the king of the court? But LeBron's got something that goes far beyond just his game. LeBron's got a serious money mind. You know, LeBron is the first active NBA player to reach the jaw-dropping 1 billion net worth milestone. But the question is, how does an active player manage and handle such a vast amount of money? Well, LeBron has just pulled back the curtain on his secrets to financial management and how he handles his cash. And let me tell you, these aren't just tips for the ultra-rich. They're golden nuggets of wisdom for anyone looking to get smarter with their cash. In this video, we are going to share LeBron James' four clever ways to handle your cash. So, watch the video until the end. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So, you won't miss any future videos we upload. Getting back to the video, let's start from number one, which is to save a portion of all income. You see, LeBron's path to financial success dates back to his childhood. LeBron grew up in a space that was foreign to the concept of a pantry and his family's entire food supply of chips, cereal, bread, etc. was stored on top of the refrigerator. It's a generous anecdote that sheds light on the early challenges he faced. And through those struggles, or because of them, LeBron developed a unique perspective on money. Now, let's talk about that perspective. This advice we are going to talk about was passed down from LeBron's uncles to him. Uncles would give LeBron a dollar and advise him to do a little spending, but do a lot more saving. Let's say LeBron was given a dollar with a tip to spend 35 cents and save the remaining 65. Clearly, the lesson wasn't about the particular amounts, but rather what it represented, a habit of saving, one that he took very seriously. The practice of saving a portion of all income, no matter how small, is one of the most fundamental financial habits. It reveals the importance of living within our means and preparing for the future. For LeBron, the value was not just in saving money. It was in creating safety for himself and the future. It's a reminder to always prioritize our needs and ensure that we are always prepared for whatever life sends our way. So, how do we apply LeBron's strategy to our own lives? Approach every dollar as an opportunity. Each cent you add to your piggy bank or savings account, whether it comes from an allowance, a paycheck from a part-time job, or that birthday card that grandma stuffed with cash, is not just an opportunity for you to spend it. It's now an even bigger opportunity for you to save it. Set up a savings account if you don't already have one, or download a saving app to help you monitor your progress. When you receive some money, pull from LeBron's method and put a portion towards immediate or necessary expenses. The rest goes into savings. Over time, you'll begin to watch your savings grow, and you'll thank yourself for the discipline and forethought. Now, stay tuned as we are going to have more of LeBron's financial savoir faire with a lineup of additional pieces designed to help you adopt smarter money practices in your daily life. Next, LeBron's financial wisdom is pay yourself first. This is a mindset shift about how to treat your earnings, and it's a game changer. From those early lessons of saving a chunk of whatever he earned, LeBron mastered the art of paying himself first. But what does that actually mean? It's pretty simple. Before you pay your bills, buy groceries, or splurge on that new pair of sneakers, you set aside a portion of your income for your future self. This could mean putting it into savings, or investing it where it can grow. It's about making sure a part of every dollar you earn is working for you, not just for the things you need or want now. Paying yourself first is like building your financial fortress. It ensures that, no matter what, you're always contributing to your future wealth and well-being. For LeBron, as his earnings from basketball and endorsements started to skyrocket, he didn't let the lifestyle inflation take over. He stuck to his guns, continuing to save and invest a portion of his income. This discipline is what separates the financially savvy from those who live paycheck to paycheck. So, how can we start paying ourselves first in real life? It starts with a commitment. Decide on a percentage of your income. Financial advisors often recommend anywhere from 10% to 20% that you'll automatically save or invest every time you get paid. You can set up automatic transfers to your savings account or into an investment fund so that you're not tempted to spend it. The beauty of this strategy is its simplicity. Once you set it up, it takes care of itself and you're consistently building your wealth without having to think about it every month. Whether you're earning a modest income or raking in NBA-level paychecks, paying yourself first is a habit that pays dividends in the long run. 
For anyone looking to take control of their financial destiny, this approach is key. It's not just about how much you make, it's about how much you keep and grow. Next clever way of LeBron to handle your cash is staving off instant gratification. This is about mastering the art of contentment and wise spending, even when you have the means to buy almost anything under the sun. LeBron's journey from humble beginnings to financial stardom could easily have led him down a path of lavish spending. Yet, he chooses a different route. Despite his immense wealth, LeBron doesn't give in to every whim or desire. He shared with MarketWatch that thoughts of his less affluent past remind him of what truly matters, often leading him to conclude, I don't need it. This mindset isn't about self-denial, but about recognizing that true happiness doesn't come from accumulating stuff. LeBron's frugality extends to everyday decisions that might seem trivial to someone with a billionaire status. CNBC highlighted how LeBron opts out of premium services for more economical choices, like turning off data roaming, avoiding costly mobile apps, and sticking with the free version of music apps like Pandora. These choices might not make a dent in his net worth, but they underscore a principle that guides his financial behavior. Just because you can afford it, doesn't mean you should buy it. You don't need to be a billionaire to practice this principle. Start by asking yourself before every purchase, do I really need this? Will this make me truly happy? Or is it just a momentary desire? Sometimes, just giving yourself time to think before buying can make all the difference. LeBron James's approach to staving off instant gratification is a lesson in frugality and mindfulness for us all. It's a reminder that happiness and contentment aren't found in the latest gadget or luxury item, but in appreciating the simple joys and being mindful of our spending. As we continue exploring LeBron's smart ways to handle cash, let's remember that sometimes the best purchase is the one we decide not to make. Finally, the fourth way you can handle your cash like LeBron is to visualize success. When LeBron James's career was on the ascent, he didn't limit his dreams to the basketball court. He envisioned something grander, something that extended far beyond his already impressive achievements. In a revealing conversation with GQ in 2014, LeBron shared his aspiration to become a billionaire. This wasn't about greed or vanity. It was about pushing the boundaries of what he could achieve both on and off the court. He expressed, If it happens, it's my biggest milestone. Obviously, I want to maximize my business. And if I happen to get it, if I happen to be a billion dollar athlete, hip hip hooray. Oh my god, I'm gonna be excited. And now, he had made it to the billionaire mark. What LeBron teaches us here is the power of allowing yourself to dream big, really big. It's about setting your sights on a goal that might seem unreachable to others, but feels just right to you. This mindset of visualizing success acts as a North Star, guiding your decisions, actions, and ultimately, your financial strategy. So, how can we incorporate LeBron's vision of success into our own financial management? Start by setting your own biggest milestone. What's your equivalent of LeBron's billion dollar athlete goal? It doesn't have to be measured in billions or even millions. It's about defining what maximum success looks like for you. Once you've set your goal, let it inform your decisions. Every financial choice from saving to investing becomes a step toward that grand vision. And just like LeBron, allow yourself to feel the excitement and motivation that comes with pursuing a significant dream. And that's how the NBA legend handles the ball, but more importantly, how he manages his cash. Now, apply these clever ways to our own lives and set the stage for your financial success. Thank you for joining us on this journey through LeBron James's top strategies for financial management. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Moreover, if you are new and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Here's to making smart moves, saving wisely, and building a future that would make any NBA star proud. Until next time, keep dreaming big and managing smart.